Good morning, everyone. This is Paula back today, continuing with our Christmas in July series for the month. And I told you we were going to do decorate the uh, Traveler's Notebooks, and so that is today. I decorated the outside of all of them prior to any video because it was just too involved and too slow. And I just thought, eh, we'll just do the outside. Everybody knows how to do an outside of cover, right? And so I went ahead and did that. I added the buttons and had a couple buttons down here on this one. But, and I've stenciled in this one already several different places. You'll see them as we go along. Um, different places that I, I don't even know what page it was on. There's some right there. And, and actually that's more like a drawing than a stenciling, I guess. Anyway, so we're going to continue and we're going to start by decorating this. Now, I do know one thing for sure. Can't have a birch tree without having a cardinal, right? And this is the a snowman number one. He is so, so cute. Uh, let me find my cardinals. There they are. And we're going to put one right here on these birch trees on the front and the back because we can, right? Because we can. All right, so I'm going to do this one right here in the front. And this is just clear stickers that I've got right here. And they're not always that easy to get off, so I'm pleased about that. Now, usually you want to find a branch, but it looks like they're all down here lower. So, let me think. I don't think I want it that low. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it up here. And I'm going to draw with a white, mark, uh, white um, color pencil. I'm going to do some branches. And I'll make it where it can be seen really well. Let's get this on here correctly. And... Uh, I'll probably have to outline it some to get it to stand out well enough. But that's okay. We can do it. And I'm going to get this little brown or black marker. I had to look and see. And I'm just going to kind of do some little tweaks through there so you can see where the, the branch is and where the branch is goes <laughs> so we're going to make this one go over here because he'll look like he's in the middle of the air if we don't so there we go so that's the one in the front of the book so come up closer so you can see all right now i'm going to flip it to the back page which also has these type of trees and you can see right here we actually have a branch to work with so that's nice and I'm going to do this little cardinal that's kind of looking up in the air. And put him, if I can get him off of here easily, I'll put it that way. Come off of there. It is what it is. What can I say? We're going to have to do something here. Maybe use this little thing to pick it up. There we go. It's not always that easy for me to get these clear stickers to go away. Okay, here we go. And this little guy is up high, and so we're going to make him look like he is looking up. So, the first thing I always do when I do my um, uh, decorating of a book so I always do a library pocket. It's just a habit of mine. And so I'm not going to do anything different. I'm going to... Ooh, there's dust on here. Sorry, guys. That's dusty. I'm a terrible housekeeper. <laughs> so I've got my library pocket. And I think I'm going to put just a little bit of red 
very lightly around the edge of this like it's just barely showing up i don't want it to be real big big wide sections i want it to be thinner now i will be decorating as far as i can on these today now um here's the pocket card also the library card i'm gonna do it too um I will not, I will be putting these in my Etsy shop in the, probably tomorrow, which will be the 14th of July, 2023. So you'll know these are some of the best that I've made. I'm really happy with how they are turning out. And so now I'm going to, I've got that pocket in. This does not have the sticky on the back. So I've got to get this down before I can do anything. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to do that. And hopefully today we'll have glue that is that will behave. And um, not be so hard I can't get it out. It looks like we're on the right start here. Get along the edges because... Want it to stick down good. This is still not coming out super easy. I'm really having to squeeze. And I'm not that strong, but I'm gonna keep trying. Okay. Gives my fingers a chance to rest. Now, this is where I stitched the, the uh, picture on the front of the journal so I just decided to put it right there at the bottom of that it just went perfect and then we have the, the little card that goes here right now <clears throat> I'm going to use some music sheet on the front of the pocket now, this isn't showing a lot, but it is giving it a red hint, uh, you know, a hint of red. So, I don't have a whole lot on my, uh, so it's going to go right here, and I'm going to try to work pretty fast, so be patient with me. Um so we can at least get one of these done, and they're all going to be similar, all going to have some of the very same things and they're all going to be similar so you know you're not going to have to decide uh, other than other than the uh, front of the cover is the only difference that you can make in some of the colors and so forth here we go now we're going to put this down here now i did pre-cut stuff because of time you know how that works right Trying to get it as down to as little time as possible involved. And, um, yeah. Get that right there. Let's see. Let's get some of that off. Now, I have these cute, cute, cute little snowmen. They're fixing to send their letter probably to Santa. Uh, and so, I just think they're adorable. And I'm not going to ink them because, after all, they're white. And I'm going to put them right here in the very front of this. Uh, now, i got to remember not to put it so... Don't want to put glue on the very tips of their hats. Okay. I'll come down lower. But you want to... When you get have these little cutouts like this, you want to get all the little edges that are floating around. You want to get those glued down so they don't bend or get torn out of a book. So I always try to get around the small stuff if possible. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to go as low as I can right here on the pocket. Aren't they adorable? Now, 
Now this little guy, hopefully, hopefully I don't have glue anywhere that I'm not supposed to have glue, like right there. Nope. Yeah, you can see that it hasn't been put down really thick like. Let me see. Yeah. Looking halfway decent. So, I'm just going to do the glue right there. Yeah. To hold that hat down on the one side. And I want to make sure that my card is not getting glue all over it which it did a little bit. So we'll leave the card out for a few minutes and let it, the glue dry. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, it's not, there's not anything underneath, but there we go. And um, I took the time, <laughs> I know I'm crazy, and did little stockings hanging on my die cut machine and this little die, this little die came from Timu for 98 cents. If you like die cuts and you don't want to spend a lot of money, they have some really cute ones on Timu. Okay, let me get this here. Do I recommend everything there? I recommend the dies. The dies are, I haven't had trouble with any of my dies. So you should be the same way, unless for some crazy reason, you know, you get one that's bent or something. But I haven't had any trouble, and I've bought a ton of them. I like, you know, having being able to have them right here next to my desk when I want to use them instead of having to get up and dig them out of the file. And um, I don't have to worry about protecting them. I gave 98 cents a piece for them. Some of them were a little higher, but overall they were pretty reasonable. Okay, so these are so cute. And if you wanted to go back through here and put the name, the names of your family on the stockings, that too would be very cute. Now, we're gonna put this in now because it's dry. And here is a little Snowy Days book. I thought it was really cute that you can journal journal on if you'd like. Now, you can also put um, anything behind it there. Any kind of snowman or whatever. I'm going to flip, bring my snowman over here. Some of my snowman stuff. Because I think we still need something right in there. Now... I worked real hard not to, uh, but look at this. I love this. And it is not a snowman, but it is an adorable little girl. I love I love her. I've seen her on digital kits before. I need to get some red ink on my on my ink pad. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, that's better. It's not wanting to come off onto anything. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. We got two little things in there. And I think that is cute. Now, if you wanted to put a, a strip of washi right, right here, you could. I'm going to put my lid on my glue ever so often so it doesn't dry up on me. Because when that happens, you can't use anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have some washi. That is really cute. And so I thought, well, what will go good with what we've got? Let's use this. They call this designer washi. Hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but we're going to use it. Let me move this. Put a little bit of glue across here because I don't know about you, but I don't trust washi to stay on. And um, it always pays to be safe, right? So we're going to go bring it down. It might cover up the author box, but that's okay. So this is just a little piece of washi tape. 
whoops, fingers are like jumbly today. So this is this first layout right here in the first two pages. Okay, now what I'm basing all my stuff on is the stuff I've made, the ephemera I've made. So I think what I'm going to do next is show you the ephemera for this book as we go along. And then we'll find a place for it on each one. So let's go this way. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. And you just have to decide, okay, where do I want this? Where do I want that? And um, this is a bag with a snowman journaling card. And I put a well tail on here and I wrote, believe. Sleigh ride, sleigh ride in the snow. It's a glassine bag that you can see through. So I want to find a place for that. Now, I don't want to overkill all of the areas with uh, more than the book can handle. So I made, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half, <laughs> eight and a half, eight really items for each book. And, and they're not just, uh, why is my book, my uh, glue acting like it's stuck? I swear, I just went through all of this glue, filled it up, and cleaned out the nozzle real good, and look at it. It's like good grief. I'm going to really squeeze it, see if I can get some out. I don't, it's almost like the glue has been changed or something. I'm going to try this different one up here, see if it'll work better. I have two filled because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of gluing. I can already tell this one's easier. Now, I wonder what, why that is. Hmm. Can any of you guess? I don't know. I do not know. But now I'm going to pick this up. You have 21 or 22 pages. Uh, that's single pages. That's uh, if you were just counting each piece of paper I put in the journal. But really, it is 42, 40, yeah, 42 pages front and back. This is a traveler's notebook insert, so it's eight and a half by four and a half in size, which is what the size of an insert should be. Now, my little card wants to go down, and that's because I, uh, they're not super long, but I liked them in there, so I said we'll figure it out. So we figured it out. We're going to put it in there. Okay, so that is our second thing. Now let's move on and find out where we want to put the next thing. Now, let's just see. Did some snowflakes in this book. Christmas stories. And you're going to have plenty of spaces to journal in here. So here we have a red check. Let's see what Santa looks like on there. Oh, he doesn't fit. He's not quite wide enough. And, um, no, that's a shorter page is the reason. And here is a page here, but let's just keep looking. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry, you guys. I've been doing great. Now I'm on the phone. I'm on the video, and I'm coughing and hacking. Sorry about that. Now, see, this Santa will work here. So do we want to put him there or do we want to put this tall vintage folded thing I made? Pockets. Let me look ahead in case there's someplace better. I love this snowman one right here. 
Let's go to this next instead of this one. <laughs> we'll bounce around. Um, so we have a snowman pocket. Is one of the two pockets we have. So let's put this pocket right here where the snow is falling. That'll look cool. That'll work. We went to Hobby Lobby yesterday, you guys, which was the 12th of July. You need to get into Hobby Lobby. They're having massive sales. I have never been there when they've had this massive sale like this before. They have all the fall stuff is 40% off. They've already got fall and part of Christmas out. And, um, but I will tell you, it's worth the trip. I spent, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what I spent because it was a crazy amount of money. But uh, I really saved a lot on things that I did like. And some of it, this is the crazy thing. Are you ready for this? I went in to get one piece of paper that I, you know, didn't have enough of for something I was making. And, oh, my word. I came out. My husband had a basket full and I had a basket full. Yeah. But you can't pass up those deals, especially if you know that it's something you really could use, you know, down the road even. Um, you know, especially if you design your own stuff, you know the kind of things that you use. And So there's that first pocket next to this. This is a cake in a magazine or in one of the... Um, yeah, it was in one of the magazines, and I just thought, oh, my goodness. Here is a tag with nighttime snowmen, and there's the inside that you can write. You need to write with white ink with this particular tag. I'm not putting toppers on the tags because I'll let you do that because it's uh, it bulks up the book too much. Okay, so... Maybe right here would be better for this. I like it there, so we're going to put it there. Now, this has a snowman tag. See? And then it goes in this pocket right here. So you don't want to glue that closed or anything. And then you have a small pocket down here that has two snowmen looking out in the moonlight. Okay, let's get this one to go back down in there like it goes. There it goes. And then I put a snow with glitter right there. Just thought it was cute. Now, I'm not going to fix this where you can actually um, put stuff behind this pocket as well because uh, I don't want to make it too bulky, the book too bulky. And you won't want it that way. And I'm slapping some glue on here. I'm trying to go as fast as I can so you can see more. Okay. Okay, let's flip it over. We're going to put it right here, center it the best you can. And nothing should not fit the height of this book. So this will go down in there and be flush with the top. And that's perfectly fine. I did go on the back and put tea stain paper so that you can uh, use the back to journal on. So we can move along here. Got that one on there. Now let's look for a place for um, Santa. How about under Christmas traditions? Santa is definitely a, a Christmas. Uh, and I put little scallops here when I glued the little Christmas. This is from my porch prints. I, I remember that. So you can... You can uh, get get some of these. There's different Santas. 
So it's really cute. These are some of the older ones that she has, and she has, I bet, sold a million of these. I don't know how many, but I'm saying a million, like, you know, a lot. <laughs> now, I put one of these in each book, and the Santas are different. This is the only one that's different from the other two, I think. Then I, you have the back to do journaling on this one. This has a Santa checking his list. There's another little Santa. I think they're cute. Okay, now we've got a couple more pocket things. Let's see, where do we go? Now, I wanna make sure I put something throughout the whole book. So I think I'm gonna put this back here or right there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'll put it right here. It just looks good there, so we're gonna we're just gonna stick it down. And when I'm through decorating all three of them, if I feel like they need more in the actual journal, I will uh, <coughs> I don't know if it's the glue or what with me today. Feels like allergy. Yay, I'm going to take this top one out for now. I don't want to get any glue on it. And I didn't add the extra pocket behind the pocket pack here. I, I think three tags in here is enough. And then I'm going to put this little guy right there to let it snow. Here's another, the gift of love. I'm going to put this little guy on here. It's a little snowman. You'll like him if you see him in person. He's super cute. Oh, my goodness. I've been making ephemera like crazy. This is a cute little snowman and his snow dog. Some cardinals. And on the inside of this one, what did I do? Okay, I got to fix that. I No, there's my snowman right there. See him? For a second, I thought I put him upside down. And I left it loose here so you could use this also. If you want it glue it down, you can. This side's glued down. So you have three spaces. And if you added more tea paper right there, you'd have another space. And this is going to go in the top pocket. And I think that looks cute there. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so there's that. Now we still have one more pocket like this. And it has a tag. Then we have this pocket and a little book. Those are the for sure things. Now we may have to make something to put this little book in. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to spread these out a little bit throughout the book. So, you know, it looks more balanced. Um, let's see. <laughs> I kind of like that, but I like heavier, heavier paper for heavier items. I feel like they, they do better. So let's see. What page? What page? I think this is cute right here, too, but I don't really have anything to put right here now, anyway. I will go back and add stuff after I get everything into this book. I will go back and I will add items. Okay, so let's keep going back this way. 
There's that pocket. There's that pocket. I usually like to put one pocket in the front and a second pocket on the second half. And, uh, you know, I just never know. You just never know about me. Nope, that doesn't work there. Doesn't look like I want it to look. Mm-hmm. Now that looks cute, but do I like it better on this side? I think so, because you can journal back here, see. Let me think about it, unless I find something heavier that I like better. I like the snowflakes right here, so let's put this pocket Oh, no, it's not going to be wide enough for that pocket, for a pocket right there. Yeah, some of them I cut wider for the width of the paper, you know. So it depends on what I'm, I'm after. I really want this snowman in the second half of the book. So let's go back here. I'll find a place for that pocket. I don't think it'll fit on the green. Yeah. I made it to fit on heavier, something heavier. Nope. So if I put a pocket here, which is still too short, until I really thought this out, huh? I did think it out. I just stick with my normal sizes unless I need something else to be there. Oh, I like that there. Let's see here. No, I don't like that there. So we'll put this there. Now I'm going to empty the pockets while we glue this down. I just love this. Now, if you haven't seen how to make these, you go to the video that is um, Christmas pocket pages and uh, I show you how to fold all these different styles and then I go back and I make tags to put or something to put inside them usually tags okay so I'm gonna center this I love this window picture. So it's going to go here in the back. Just like that. And we got a smaller window picture of Santa, which I thought was cute to put there. And another little window picture of a little girl looking inside. Now I'm going to glue that right there. I had thought about putting a little snowman, but... <coughs> He's not going to work. Because I like this better. Because it all goes together. There he goes. Got to get a wipey. I got my fingers are gluing together. Don't want that to happen. <laughs> now we do have one more pocket, and I'm going to put it right here because I like that spot is perfect. Put the come on. Now, this might not seem like a lot of ephemera. Well, it took me quite a while to get it all made. 
Um, but you don't want too much to overdo your book because this is, you know, it's not, a, you know, an overabundance of pages. So you want to make sure that it fits on your page for one thing. And uh, so I... What I didn't do, here's another little snowman tag. Oh, I forgot to put something on the back. I'll go back and do that. I'll do it like that so I don't forget. And um, got this is all done. Okay, this is all done. Isn't it cute? wonder if we need that little... No, it doesn't look right on there with Santa. Considering it's a snowman... Okay, all right, so this book is pretty much done, except we need t t something to put this in. So I say we do a, um, let me think, what kind of pocket? And see, when you open it, it's just a little book with, you know, some pages of journaling paper to put in there. And so, let me look here and see what I got. That this might fit into just perfect. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is going to be wide enough for that. Hmm. See, because this is not, if I cut the sides off, it would be, I've got more of these, so. Let's do that. And then we know that we can fit our little book in it. Come on. I love these old Graphic 45 uh, little pockets and stuff. I'm going to find a different place to put that. Let me think. So we just put you know, three, we've got three things right back here together. So we want to spread it out for sure. Let's see. I'm not sure what color to put this on. I don't want it to clash. And green really is not the color that I would rec uh, recommend for this tag. This is it's a little girl falling asleep under Christmas tree. She's precious. It's got more blue happening than anything. Okay, so... Do we want it here? I really like it with this whole get up over here. Let's see. Or do I want it here? I think this is a better place for it. The question is, is this going to fit in there? I don't know. I might have to do a... Um, side tuck. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can do that right here. Do a side tuck. And I might use that too, but let me get some paper. Maybe we can find some paper we can't live without. And I'm getting that right now. This is all the paper, the different papers that I used to, uh, maybe we can use that. That looks strong enough to hold, you know, something sturdy. And while I'm doing it, I might as well cut three, right? So we have one for each journal. Get my trimmer. The thing is, and the thing you got to think about when you trim these is, cut this off first. Is it going to be sturdy enough for this little pocket? Now, 
you got to make it big enough and it has to be you know wide enough so we want it this wide and I thought I'd do it like a corner pocket so that's the big question let's just see what we can do I always like to leave a little bit at the bottom because I feel like let me show you what I mean see like this and then this will fit in here but we need something right here so I think I'll be adding something but let me cut a couple more of these while we're while we're here with the paper and the trimmer. Come on, come on. Cutting at this angle is uh, not the absolute easiest thing in the world. There we go. Now, let's see how we're gonna figure this other one out. Hmm. We may have to use a different paper for the third one or make it smaller. Maybe we'll just make it smaller. Huh. Let's go with the two for now. We'll keep one for the other one and then one for the... We'll see how we do with that one. So let's definitely ink it up with the red because we definitely want it to okay you should see my scrapbook room i have christmas stuff everywhere i hired a new housekeeper today and i know she had to be shocked about the uh <laughs> the mess in my room so I might have to trim that off or this side off where'd my book go yeah I think that'll work but I do have to trim a little bit off just a little bit Get my red out. You know, I forget about side tucks. Much as I have made journals, you would think I would never forget that, right? There we go. Let me see how this is going to fit. I think it will work. <laughs> I think we're... Heading in the right direction here. Let's just see. I made a mess just then because my glue is coming out like a crazy person or a volcano, which it doesn't usually do that on these little containers, but it needs to be wiped off by its owner. I don't know who that is. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it on this green paper and scoot it over as far as we can and hold it down to glue for a minute oh, i just got glue where you don't want to get glue in down in there let me get it real quick it'll dry i'll leave it open to dry now where is my my uh yeah, I got to wait on that to dry. So we may have to just move on to the next one while we wait. I'll leave it open and let it dry. And then we'll come back to it when we're done with uh, the next book. I'll have to see what time it is. How much time we've been on here because can't be on here too long. Okay, now I'm going to set this one, number one, to the side with its little book and then um, move on to the next one. Let me see. We still have about 10 minutes, so we could take that 10 minutes and do a little bit 
and go from there. So the next book we're going to use is the next snowman. They're, they're all snowmen. Even the one that has cardinals on the front has snowmen. This is the cardinals. This is number three. Okay. And it, you know, they all have pom-poms on them. I know you guys all put pom-poms on your books before. If you're a maker. If you're not a maker, we just glue it along the back page. It's pretty much what I do. Um, okay, so now... We've got this cool snowflake paper on the inside here with Mr. Sand, Mr. Snowman. And so we got to find our little pocket. It's probably way down at the bottom. Here it is right here. And so again, I'm going to go over it with red. Instead of, you know, I decided not to use vintage photo. Because, you know, it just makes... When you're doing snowmen, you don't want a bunch of brown touching everything. And so there's that. Let me get my card. And it's just more fun when you don't have to do that. Okay, so let me glue this down first. Ooh. Let me push my book up. I don't want it to get too low. Sometimes you get busy and you forget how low your book is. I try real hard to keep it pushed up. Because I know how I hate it when I watch videos like that. <laughs> you know, when it's hard to... Uh, tail. I feel like there was a little bit of glue somewhere around here because my finger went into it. Right there. Can't have that. I'm going to take chances with glue because it can run a book. It can run it. Now there's our little pocket right there. Now this one they're all pretty much being done the same way. So here we have the music sheet. At least this one is being done. I think some of them, some thing, parts of them are not. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. Let's do this. Do that. It's hard to tell. Come on, music sheet. <laughs> So you put your, this is your uh, mat, which just covers the background. For what you, um, you need here. Make sure we're not sticky. Just right in there. And we'll just get that off. All right, now here is the little uh, feet or little boots. Now I'm gonna go back and fill these tops in with white. I just haven't got that done yet, but I'll wait till later. It won't be, you know, right away. Ah, at least it fell the right way. Okay, now we're going to put it up here in this little corner. Right there. Whoops. Dang it. I hate it when I drop glue. 
or drop glue down on my paper because you got to get it off. And this glue is that fast drying glue. <laughs> so you really got to be with it, with this glitter glue because it dries really fast. I'll just get it off like this. This is not a wipey. It is just a Kleenex. But it will soak up that glitter glue better than... You don't want to use your adhesive eraser on the stockings. Just an FYI there. Now, here comes the next part. i got to close this glue. Why is it doing that? I haven't even been using it but once. There we go. Okay. Now we got this little, the same little snowman and that, you know, show them at the mailbox, sending out Christmas cards or letters to Santa. Could be anything. Okay. And I'm sure I shouldn't have put that way up high right there because, you know, it's going to be hanging off the page. I'll have to fix it in just a minute. So, well, maybe it's a little better. It is a little better. Okay, now I know there's some ephemera floating around here that goes with this, but what did I do with it? Oh, you know what I did? I remember on this one, I decided that I would put the book in here, this book in here. But I don't like the way it, it's pulling it out. So we've got to find something to go in here. So let me see what we've got. What do we have? We have this little tag. Uh, nah. Let's see what else I've got. I've gone through so much ephemera looking for things. <laughs> Just so you guys know. I have hunted up and I've hunted down. Digging through my stuff to find exactly what's needed. Okay, let me see. I know we want some washi on there. Let me get that washi before I forget. We'll use that same one because I liked it. Okay. Now we need something big enough that it is noticeable in here, right? And so we've got snowman stuff. We could put him right there. He looks cute. Got a big circle snowman, which probably won't fit. Nope, he doesn't fit. Mm-hmm-hmm. We have a tag that says Joy, which we can put with this snowman. Let's do that. Let's move that one out of the way. Let me ink it real quick. Uh, and it's red, so it has to be inked red. Also, okay, now let's put some ink on this, but it's trimmed in blue, so let's do some blue on here. All right, so we're gonna put the snowman right there. And then over here, we'll put the joy. And across the top, we're gonna put 
the washi tape. So let's just put a little bit of glue across there because we don't want that to come off. Excuse me. There we go. Make sure there's no glue anywhere. Okay, there's that. Now, I think, I think I'm gonna use this page to do this snowman bag right here like we did before. Because I liked how everything fit in the book. Ooh, come on, come on. Seems like a lot of glue, but I don't like my the people that buy my books to um, have to worry about it coming out. So here we go. Going to put it right here. Right down that way. Right across. You can take this out if you want and rub real good behind it. Of course, I did a dimensional snowman on here and a cardinal because it's what it's all about and some snowflakes. Okay, there's that page. Oops, sorry. You guys get drunk there, up and down. <laughs> okay, on this little green one here, kind of like that. Nah. Let's do a pocket. Let's do a cute little pocket. Let's do, no, that's not gonna work either. I don't like that there. So what did I put here last time? I don't remember. Let's flip it over. Yeah, over here would be better. I like, I do love this right here too though. Cause it really looks nice with that. So let's do this first. Again, I'm covering the whole back, so there won't be a pocket in the back, even though there's a little notch. Doesn't mean it will fit back there. And there we go. So this is gonna be the last item we put in here on this book. Now, basically all the books are gonna be decorated the same way or really close to the same way. And I just wanna let you know that I'll do a flip through on these books once they're all done. And um, you can look at them and then I'm gonna put them in my Etsy shop at that point. Um, so yeah. This has a little Jolly St. Nick journaling card. Isn't it cute? And look at this Santa right here. Look at the back. <laughs> it's a cute little journaling card. Now, we can add more to that if we decide to. We could add more to this pocket. And I may. Here's a card I made. Or a tag I made. Isn't it cute? Just so you know, I'm going, I've made some pockets that's going to go into my Etsy shop like these pockets. Uh, there's three different ones in each kit. There's a set of three. Three kits and three cards in each kit. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video today because I sure did. And I've been working on the ephemera off and on this whole month. And I'm like finally getting to put it in the books and see it come to life. So, 
I will do a flip through, like I said, and um, you can see them finished and complete, and you'll be able to find them in my Etsy shop at that time. All right, guys. Ho, ho, ho. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.